every billionaire out there never made their money from retail value. They made it from wholesale value. There are some really key distinctions that you're going to find in any, any game. The more you play the game, the more you're going to find that there are different ways to play it. When you talk about entrepreneurship, the same thing happens when we talk about value. But there's different types of value. So let me give you two different types and the reason that these are so important to know the difference of the two. There's something called retail value, which is less than 5% of all the money flow on the planet. Uh, retail value is where someone is giving you money which has a certain quality, which is money spent. Let's say, for example, you go for a meal. It's retail value. You're not expecting any return on the money. You just are going to spend the money and then eat the meal. You buy some shoes and the same thing. You hope you get value for money from the shoes, but you're not expecting a return on your money. Retail value is less than 5% of all money flow simply because the people who are spending their money are careful on what they spend. However, there is an entirely different area which is called wholesale value. 95% of all the money flow on the planet is as a result of this. There is now some $40 billion in GDP around the world, which is our production that we create every year in all the economies in the world. There's over $3 trillion a day, which is, which is out there as a result of our movement of wholesale value. Wholesale value has got a different quality of money flowing. It's not money which is money spent, it's money invested. So for example, we might be thinking twice about whether we spend a thousand pounds on uh, a meal, but we certainly spend a thousand pounds on buying stocks on the stock market because we don't think the money's spent. We think it's invested and we're going to get a return from it. Uh, we might not spend a thousand pounds on a bottle of wine, but if we hear the bottle of wine is an investment and it's going to go up to two thousand pounds, we might just spend a thousand pounds. We wouldn't drink the wine, but we'd buy it in order for it to be an investment. The reason this is important is that every billionaire out there never made their money from retail value. They made it from wholesale value. Retail value is where you say, is something that I need, is something that I want, the money's gone. Wholesale value is something where you say it's a component that I can actually add to other things or it's an investment value that I can actually just keep over time and it will change value, but I will measure it on the basis of my return on investment. So Bill Gates did not start by saying, I'll just sell software. He started by saying, how do I make that software of wholesale value to PC manufacturers so that when they buy it, for every dollar they buy of my software, they can see themselves making a dollar fifty or two dollars back on marking up their hardware. So as a result, I'll sell thousands at a time because every time they actually are putting a dollar in, it's a dollar invested. And then now that I've actually got all of them uh, building Microsoft into this big empire, how can I make my money? Not by trying to make money from the profits of the business, but by actually turning into wholesale value by listing the company. And now I'll make my money not from the profits of the business, but as a result of people investing into the shares that I also own. And as a result, he makes his money by being a shareholder in Microsoft. The reason that uh, you hear this great story about McDonald's becoming, uh, uh, becoming a real estate company is because they start in the same way. They say, do we want to make all our money just selling hamburgers? Or is there a way that we can actually create wholesale value, which is a franchise that someone will pay a million dollars for because they actually think they can make two million dollars back from it. That's component value. They'll take the million, they'll, they'll add their own time and effort, they'll take their territory and they'll make more money. And then once we're selling enough of those, how can we make sure that as well as them actually having a license for this, there's other ways we're going to earn money from them. Can we sell training to them? Yes, we can. Can we sell equipment to them? Yeah. But what about if we actually rented to them as well as part of the contract for the franchise? Next thing you know, they've got into being a landlord where they're now making money from that rental as well, and that's at wholesale value. If you are simply thinking about your enterprise at retail value, you're never going to make the kind of money you can by stepping into wholesale value. The Million Dollar Challenge is a unique TV collaboration to help you make more money. Join now to get free access to the world's top sales, marketing and internet experts direct from your desktop. There are hundreds of shows like the one you've just seen. Tap into the combined experience of dozens of world-leading experts and thousands of other business people. There are also low-risk, results-based options if you're looking for more help. Sign up today.